In this video, we continue our discussion of the state variable observer. Remember that the task of the observer is to reconstruct or estimate the states of the plant from the plant input and the plant output. We have previously seen that the observer design process is very similar to the regulator design process. Today we use this fact to answer three questions. One, can we use the regulator design process to design the observer? Two, under which conditions can we place the observer poles anywhere? And three, is there an easy way to design the observer if the plant is given in the observer canonical form? The central idea of this video is that we establish that the regulator and observer design process is equivalent. That is, we establish the duality between the regulator and observer. We then use this fact to apply the regulator design process and the results we derive for the regulator to the observer. We start by writing down the characteristic equations of the regulator and the observer. The characteristic equation for the regulator is given by the determinant of SI minus A plus B times K equal to zero, where K is the state feedback gain. The solutions to this equation are the closed loop poles. The characteristic equation for the observer is given by the determinant of SI minus A plus M times C equal to zero where M is the observer gain. The solutions to this equation are the observer poles. When we compare the two equations, we notice that they are the same, except that the gain K for the regulator is a row vector, whereas the gain M for the observer is a column vector, and the order of the multiplication of the system vector and the gain vector is reversed for the observer as compared with the regulator. However, we can write them in the same form by using the fact that the determinant of a matrix is equal to the determinant of its transpose. The observer characteristic polynomial now becomes the determinant of the transpose of SI minus A plus M times C. After applying the transpose to each term, we get the determinant of SI minus a transpose plus C transpose times M transposed. When we compare this with the regulator characteristic polynomial, we see that the first term is the same, the second term is a square system matrix, and the third term is a column system vector times a row gain vector. The observer characteristic equation is now in exactly the same form as the regulator characteristic equation. To help us reason about the observer, we now construct the regulator that would have given us this characteristic equation. We call it the auxiliary regulator and it consists of the auxiliary plant and the auxiliary state feedback. Where we have A in the normal regulator, we now have A transposed. Where we normally have B, we now have C transposed. And where we normally have K, we have M transposed. The states of the auxiliary regulator is called zeta, and the input to the auxiliary plant is called eta. The auxiliary plant is equivalently described by this state equation, and the auxiliary state feedback by this control law. By using the normal regulator characteristic equation, we can verify that the characteristic equation corresponding to the auxiliary regulator is given by this characteristic equation. What is the significance of all this? We have to find the auxiliary regulator which has the same closed loop poles as the observer. We can now apply all the design procedures and results we've derived for the regulator to the auxiliary regulator, in effect applying them to the observer. We can summarize the duality between the regulator and the observer in this table. It says that the relationship between A, B, K and the regulator poles is mathematically the same as the relationship between A transposed, C transposed M transposed and observer poles. 
Let's look at how we can use this duality to apply the regulated design procedure to the observer. MATLAB has a function called Acker, which takes the matrices A and B and the desired closed loop pole locations P as arguments and returns the state feedback gain vector K. We can now use the function Acker to design the observer by passing A transposed, C transposed and the desired observer poles as arguments. The function returns M transpose, so we have to transpose the result to retrieve the observer gain M. Let's use the duality between the regulator and observer to answer the question under which conditions can we place the observer poles in arbitrary locations. We have seen on the previous page that the observer poles are the same as that of the auxiliary regulator. In a previous video, we have seen that if the plant is controllable, we can place the regulator poles in any locations. A plant is controllable if the determinant of its controllability matrix is non-zero. We now apply this result to the auxiliary regulator. The determinant of the controllability matrix of the auxiliary plant is given by C transposed as the first column a transpose times C transpose for the second column, etc. We now again use the fact that the determinant of a matrix is the same as the determinant of its transpose, which gives us this determinant. When we apply the transpose to each of the columns, we obtain this determinant. We recognize this as the determinant of the observability matrix which should be non-zero, which means that the plant is observable. Putting everything together, we can conclude that if the plant is observable, we can place the observer poles anywhere. Lastly, we again make use of the duality between the regulator and observer to find an easy way to calculate the observer gain vector when the plant is given in the observer canonical form. We start by stating that if the plant is in observer canonical form, then the auxiliary plant is in the control canonical form. This is quite easy to see by comparing the observer and control canonical forms. If the auxiliary plant is in the control canonical form, then it is easy to calculate the auxiliary feedback gain M transposed, which means that it is easy to calculate the observer gain M. Using this reasoning and the method for calculating the state feedback gain when the plant is in control canonical form that we discussed in a previous video, we can write down that for this general desired observer characteristic equation with coefficients a1 to an and the a matrix given in observer canonical form with minus alpha n to minus alpha 1 in the last column the observer gain is simply the column vector with the elements a n minus alpha n down to a1 minus alpha 1. In conclusion, we have seen that we can exploit the duality between the regulator and observer to apply design procedures and results we obtain for the regulator to the observer, instead of deriving these procedures and results from scratch for the observer.